Star Girl was, wow, an amazing film since it came out in 2020 based on the young adult novel. It was so amazing, and so was the star of that film, Grace Vanderwall, who was a big winner in America's Got Talent. And I just finished watching the brand new sequel, Hollywood Star Girl, now streaming on Disney+. Plus. But is it anywhere as good as its predecessor? Or is it just a film that would make you want to pack your bags and go somewhere else to fulfill your dreams? Find out right now in this spoiler-free review. Big Days Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. So greetings, my fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name's Duel, they're known to you as the Big D, and this time around I bring to you a spoiler-free review of the just now released Disney Plus teen romantic drama flick with a little come of age feel. Hollywood Star Girl, which Disney released, directed by Julia Hart from a screenplay that she co-wrote with Jordan Horowitz. A sequel to Star Girl from 2020, which was in turn based on Jerry Spinelli's novel the same name. Of course, this is not an adaptation of the follow-up to that one, which was Love Star Girl. This is a completely different story. Anyway, this is really something. I must say, well, Star Girl Callaway and her mother Anna leave out, well, left Arizona and arrive in LA to start a new life. Anna has gotten a job as a costume designer for a feature film, but the director is notoriously difficult to work with. And soon, Star Girl meets a new friend in Evan. Who lives in her new apartment building, and so joining him and his brother Terrell, they're making a sizzle reel for a potential film, and would like her to write the music and possibly act in the film. Well, she's never acted before, but she is convinced by the brothers and visits Terrell's workplace, a bar called Forte, and she recognizes one of the regular visitors, known to be known to the brothers as Table Six. As Roxanne Martell, a one-hit wonder who left the music scene to become a producer, and is the actual owner of Forte. And that's all I'm going to tell you on the story. Now, I'm not giving you any more because this is a spoiler-free review, so you're just gonna have to watch the movie to see what happens. But anyway, what did I think of the film? I will say it is incredible. It's I gotta say I enjoyed this just about as. Well, or if not almost as much as the first one. The first Star Girl was definitely a classic. Mm -hmm. And that's why I didn't want to re-review it. Because if you all know that the spoiler-free review I did for that, which, which of course I forgot to point out, I actually wanted to show that in the in the cards. If you saw that, you could click on that before you went into the review. But if you didn't, then that's okay. This is a spoiler-free review, so... Anyway, I'm going to say this was so incredible. Films already gotten some pretty good response so far. I will I will give the film credit for its music, the positive messages. Everything in this had just about the same amount of stuff as the first film had to offer. Now, it recently did premiere, well, a little over a week ago at the El Capitan Theater in L.A. Yeah. Anyway, I've got to give Julia Hart credit for directing this. Her story is really good. The music, which had Michael Penn writing the, so the songs, and Rob Simonson and Duncan Blickenstaff did the, the rest. So anyway, uh, throughout this film, Stargirl has met new friends and explores her creative side, as well as fame and success. Really incredible. Now, as for the cast, we want the only person who's back with us is Grace Vanderwall, who plays the title character. Of course, all of her names really Susan, but she goes under the name Stargirl. 
Now, also on board is Elijah Richardson, who plays Evan, and Terrell Jackson Williams plays Terrell, plays Terrell, playing Susan's mother, uh, Caraway. They got a different actress, but a good one though, in Judy Greer, playing um, Star Girl's well new neighbor, who's kind of a grump. Mr. Mitchell is Judd Hirsch, who I'm sure you know who that guy is. You may remember him from shows like Taxi and Dear John. Of course, you see him in movies. I mostly know him from Independence Day. Plus, there's many others. And to my surprise, Uma Thurman plays Roxanne Martell. I mean, wow. I hadn't seen her do much of a good movie in, in over a decade. The first Percy Jackson movie was the last film I recalled seeing her in where she really gives a great performance. This one turns out to be even better. Mm -hmm. And before you say anything, yes, she sings as well. Yeah, you better believe it. Just fine. Just, that's only a slight heads up. Just in case. But anyway, you get to hear... Miss Vanderwall do a great job in singing her songs who don't get to see her play her ukulele much like last time, but well, even so, uh, she still does an amazing job. So I gotta give this film credit for what it had. It had just about the same amount of stuff. Well, almost just about the same stuff we got from the first film. Great story, great characters, great music, great cast, etc., etc., etc. So anyway, I think this film is worth looking into. And I think you'll really like it. I think um, young girls will like this a whole lot. But anyway, I've come to like this. It's, j it's almost about as good as its predecessor, so... That's all I'm going to tell you. So for my score, I'm going to be giving Hollywood Star Girl five stars, which of course means on a scale of one to ten, I'm going to give it a ten, just like its predecessor. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so what did you think of Hollywood Star Girl? Please tell me in the comment section below. If you like this video, click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and be a part of the Big D Nation. And stay tuned for my next Saturday morning TV log coming out tomorrow morning with Star Wars Droids. Thanks for watching, and if you like this, consider checking out my reviews for these other recent Disney Plus films. In the upper left-hand corner is my review of Sneakerella. The upper right-hand corner is my review of Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. And while though it was originally to come to theaters but got released on Disney Plus, you can see my review of Disney and Pixar's recent hit, Turning Red, which is now on physical media. And the bottom right hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe. If you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, etc., then I'm your guy. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying, see ya.